In this video I would like to show you how to use your background gallery slider and how to set up some functions for it. So first of all, in order to use it, we need to add it to the stage. I want you to go to Widgets, Galleries, Background Slider, add it to the stage. Now, here you go. First of all, I want you to stretch it horizontally and vertically. And then, send it to the very back in placement so it will be behind all the content of your web page. Press Save Page. Now, click on the background gallery slider, click Edit Widget. We need to add several pictures to it, so I'm gonna create a new content for it. I will call it background gallery, create new one, and I want to add several pictures from my media library to my background gallery. Let's choose, for example, this one, um, this one, and for example, this one. Click Select, Apply. Right, so we have three pictures in our background gallery. Press Apply, OK. Let's check the changes first. Preview. Web page loading up. And here you go. Right now, you have the background picture that is changing itself. And you have two control buttons that can switch between the pictures. Right, so let's get back to the control panel. Now, how to change different things for this background gallery? Go to Preferences, Website Preferences, Website Settings, scroll down, Background Gallery Style button. Here, first of all, you can set the function for Show Buttons on the right and on the left. You can make them visible always, you can make them visible only once it's rolled over with the mouse, or you can make it never visible. Then background gallery control areas, that's our actual buttons. Here you can set a color for it, I would like to make it red and make sure opacity is 100%, press OK, or you can set a picture for the button as well, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Press Apply. Let's go back. Let's change the background gallery control area when it's hovered with the mouse. Um, I want to make it blue. Opacity 100. Let's make it 50 so you can see the change. Press OK. Again, you can set a call, uh, the image for these buttons as well. Press Apply. Press OK. Let's check the changes that I've just made. So the website loading up, we have background pictures, and my buttons are red, and once it's rolled over, they're half blue. Let's go back and check some more functions that we can make for the background gallery slider. Website settings, I'm gonna go down a little bit, background gallery style. Also we can change background gallery next icon, that's this arrow. So you click here and you simply can choose any picture from your media library for this button. For the previous icon, you can do pretty much the same. You can change this gray arrow to any other picture that you would like to have there. And the background gallery preloader. You can choose a picture that you would like to appear and you can align it to the top, middle or bottom, vertically and horizontally. That's the picture that would appear once the gallery just loading up, before you actually can see the pictures. If you have any questions on how to use this widget, please contact our tech support. We will be more than happy to assist you.